Hello guys, this is Mohamed Karakuli from iTech Pro. Today we are going to talk about how to configure Ether channel or bonding interface. Fair scenario by configuring the Ether channel between two sides, both of them are using MicroTech router. And the second scenario by configuring the Ether channel between MicroTech and Cisco switch. So why we use Ether channel? As we know, when we have the connections or the customers increased in the downlink side, we need to increase the uplink to avoid any congestion in our network. One of the solution for this issue by configuring Ether channel by making more than one port acting as one logical port. The other benefit from configuring Ether channel is having tolerant in our network. So, when we have one of the links down, the other link will take care of the traffic. I will start first by configuring the Ether channel between two sites. Both are using MicroTik router. As you see guys, in this diagram, we have two MicroTik routers connected together with two links Ether1 and Ether2. I will start the configuration by using the command line interface and after we done, I will show you the configuration by using the Winbox. I will start the configuration with router 1. and I will give it IP address. We done with router one. I'll move to router two. And I will give it IP. Now I'm going to test our configuration by doing ping to router one. As you see guys, the ping is successful. Now I'm going to show you the configuration by using the Winbox. As you see guys here, we have one bonding interface and we have Ether1 and Ether2 in this Ether channel. And the Ether channel mode is LACP. And the type of this ether channel is layer 2 and layer 3. And the IP address is only one IP address. Now I'm going to do 
the bandwidth test. As we see, guys, the test is successful. And now I'm going to do the second scenario by configuring the Ether channel between the Microtik router and the Cisco switch. I'll do the configuration first on Microtik 2. And I will give it IP. Now I'm done with my Grotic 2. I'll move to the Cisco switch. First of all, we need to select the interfaces by using the command interface range Ethernet 0, 0, slash 1 and do no shutdown and I'll do no switch port to make them layer 3 port and I'll use channel group to mode on. I'll activate the ether channel unconditionally. And now I'm going to give IP address to the ether channel port. Now I am done with Cisco switch. Let's check our configuration by doing show command. As you see guys, the ether channel is configured successfully and it have two port 0 over 0 and 0 over 1 and the status of this, of this ether channel is RU that means R it's layer 3 and you it's in use let's do ping to the microtic and see if it's successful or not as you see guys the ping is successful at this point we're done for today see you soon thank you so much